Right, Praveen, I'd like to ask you, what is your investment strategy? So we are a fundamental bottom-up uh, stock picker. Um, within that, for uh, the small cap side of things, we focus a lot on companies that um, are developing a disruptive business model, uh, mostly through the use of uh, online as a channel for disruption. Um, and a lot of these companies also tend to be run by young, dynamic founders who uh, are quite entrepreneurial in nature. In quite a few cases, these tend to be Western educated, so they don't come uh, with the baggage of uh, you know, jobs for life sort of culture. So our emphasis remains on trying to identify these companies where we can generate a multiple of our clients' money over a five to 10 year period. Wow, they sound like exciting, dynamic companies. Nick, what's your investment strategy? My investment strategy is very much uh, Fidelity's traditional bottom-up approach. And I work with a team of analysts of about 16 analysts in Tokyo. And also we exchange ideas across the globe with our offices in Hong Kong and also um, with London as well. I very much focus on finding undiscovered growth. And so I do on the ground around about 350 company visits a year. And I'm really very much looking for companies with a three to five year growth runway. Uh, with ROEs, go, ROEs or return on equity going north of uh, 10% and also where there's a strong management team with, which are orientated towards shareholders. Right, and Andrew, what's your strategy? Well, I mean, for me, the keys are in-house research, first off. Uh, I'm based here in London, but I rely a lot on the analyst team in Tokyo. So in-house research, um, being long-term is also a key. We want to look at a time period that others are not looking at by and large. Um, and also being valuation sensitive, so we won't buy a stock unless we can justify the valuation. Uh, so the idea is to generate a mainstream portfolio which should outperform over a long period of time by 2 or 3% per annum. Right, now Japan's economy has recently had a turnaround with six consecutive quarters of positive growth. Mm. Why is this and will it continue, Andrew? Six, you're right, six consecutive quarters, I mean that's actually the first time in 12 years that that's been achieved. Wow, um, quite so an achievement. It is, then. yeah. I mean, it, certainly key, one key is it's been a fairly favourable global backdrop. Uh, Japan does need that. But in addition to that, there's been um, some consumer growth as well. Um, confidence has improved as the labour market has tightened. There's been some income growth. Uh, and you've had a supportive policy uh, environment. So um, those are the main reasons, I think. Uh, and there's no particular reason why that should change in the short term. Right, Nick. Do you agree with that? Yes, I, yeah, I would broadly agree. I think uh, one of the factors has been consumption and also um, capital investment. And the consumption side, we've definitely seen um, improving total employment income in the, uh, in the economy, which has helped drive consumption. And additionally, also on the CapEx side, we have a very acute labour shortage. And companies are starting to invest quite heavily in labour saving devices, etc., like that, which is also driving the economy. And I would expect that to continue for in the next six months or so.